get it. Like a lot of modern day women say, well, uh, I should be able to do what I want, but da The problem is this. Women want a man to be traditional while absolving themselves of traditional responsibilities as a woman. I you agree. want me to protect you, earn more than you, be confident, make money, all these other things. But if I say, hey, listen, you can't put your ass on internet, you're toxic and insecure. <laughs> and it's like they pick and choose what they want to take from traditionalism that makes, uh, that, you know, puts them in an advantage. But the man's roles are always static while hers are negotiable. And I tell guys on this podcast, like, if you're going to be a traditional man, she needs to be a traditional girl. You know, it's bullshit that you have to, you know, be traditional on your end and provide and bring home the bacon and be willing to die for this girl and protect her when she can't even say no when her girls ask her to go on a girl's night out. That's art. Yeah. That's my thing. Simply put. Serious question. What do modern women really want? For real, figuring this out requires you to have a doctorate in psychology. They say one thing, and they mean the complete opposite. As a man, it feels frustrating to grasp the meaning of words, especially when their actions have nothing to do with what they claim. For example, they claim they want a gentleman, but end up letting a bad boy hit for free, whereas the nice guy is kept in the friend zone. This and other examples are reasons enough for me to ignore women. Men don't ask for too much apart from some loyalty, affection, intimacy, and homemaking skills. As for women, well, despite their long list of requisites, it's fair to say that they want attention. Uh, women need attention. I think she I think she misses being in the spotlight. I think she misses being the center of attention because okay. she's really attractive. And so in her 20s, like she, she was, was sex she, yeah, she was the it girl. Mm. And so I think, you know, in her mid 30s, it's like time's running out. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I always see these girls doing these like nude photo shoots like Hillary. Didn't Hillary Duff just do one, too? It's like right at that. The our party's about to end and they're like, real quick, let me show the world my body. <laughs> <laughs> let me. <laughs> <laughs> In today's video, guys, we're talking about why women crave male attention, the changes that they have exacerbated, their search for dopamine, and most importantly, how men stop giving these women what they want. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Antonio Carrasco. He said, Watching your videos is helping me a lot on probably my worst moments. Thanks a lot. You are making me want to work on myself and the things that I want. It's not going to be easy, but I have to start doing it. That's exactly right. It's never going to be an easy process, especially as a man, but starting is the key, and I'm glad you found that here. Thank you for sharing, and please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Nature and biology have programmed women to seek male attention. If you take a look at other species, you can easily realize how common it is to see a male courting a female that has been showing she's ready to procreate. That's fair, and indeed animals tend to reproduce, but as for humans, it really has nothing to do with having offspring and beautiful families. Sadly, those days are gone, at least in the insane western world. The funny thing is that women deep down know that despite all their boss babe, I don't need no men narratives, they still need men to get views, engagement, and even money. Yeah, the college professors who dedicate their lives to bashing men just for being men also need men to build schools. Putting that aside, the raw reality women hardly accept is that they need men, especially men's attention. Male attention is like a drug because once they get it, it's hard for them to get rid of it. I had a conversation with a friend who used to date a chick he was really into. At some point, he told me he got weak because of a hard time in school, and since she smelled that, she created a Tinder account again to get male validation. She did that even though they met each other on Tinder and both deleted their accounts because they agreed on being monogamous. Modern women are insane and do whatever they need to get their dose of male validation. Another example. If you've ever dated a girl who got flaky at some point, you might have tried to set dates, but she didn't reciprocate. At some point, you realized she wasn't feeling it, so you just stopped texting her. 
Shockingly, reverse psychology comes into play, and now she's craving your attention, even blaming you for ignoring her. You probably thought, no, it's not that I'm a bad person, it's just that I value my fucking time. And that's not everything. Unfortunately, almost every woman out there prefers male validation over a faithful partner who works a lot to provide for her. If the guy works too much, he's an absent partner, so she's got good reasons to go to the club with her single female friends to get a self-esteem boost. But if the guy is around her all the time, she loses attraction because everything is so predictable, boring, and she might go to the club, resort to her backup plan and whatnot. The sweet spot is hard to find, and modern women don't make the task easy either. I love going to dance with my girls. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is, if women didn't like being approached by men, why wouldn't they just go to gay clubs? Because uh, 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 you like attention. Um, I don't really find... They get high off of rejecting you. That's why you gotta focus on yourself. It's like a, ha, ah, the self-esteem boost, holy shit. They're all celebrities now. When men use women for bedroom fun, it's outrageous, but if a woman uses a man for his resources and validation, she's praised even more if she makes money off it. When women look for male validation though, they can't just expect that all the men hitting on her are Prince Charming, let alone attractive men. In fact, some of these men are far from being the men they want, in which case the mere act of such a man approaching her is harassment. Well, they can complain all they want, but that's just the way the world works. Just like men get rejected for not being good enough, a woman who promotes her body on the internet just to get a bunch of DMs and likes has to face the consequences of their actions. Therefore, sorry not sorry, some of the men who will hit on her are not the men of their dreams. When a man goes out there, gets rejected multiple times, and even realizes he's not the best version of himself, he's just gotta bite the bullet and improve to get what he wants. A woman just needs to be pretty so that men blow up her phone, but she ain't happy anyway. And that's the point. Modern women are never happy no matter what they get. The male validation they enjoy in their 20s goes away quickly once they hit the wall. From that point onwards, the amount of validation they get slowly but surely decreases right until they realize that all the male attention they got made their body counts go up and their value go down. Beauty fades sooner rather than later for women since, in reality, women tend to age like milk. They can enjoy their 20s and younger years to get high dopamine boosts, take their body counts through the roof, and get run through by the entire hood. They might think that's the way to go, but they regret this poor choice once the wall comes their way. Before wrapping up this video, listen to what this wise man has to say about men versus women in the current dating scene. Sure wish I had some big old is not no talent so I could be TikTok famous, but I gotta go to work. Life as a man ain't easy, but you know how it goes. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? What other reasons do women have to get male attention? What made you stop giving them the validation they look for? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.